Hello YouTubers, welcome to vlog number 107. Today is going to be the day we're doing a half hour on the bike, maybe even on Ergo. Yesterday the plans just changed, I'm now just trying to merge back into the Leander program. So we're trying to make the program fit that I have with the Leander program. But also trying to get in the boat that we're trying to, or with the guys that we're trying to row with at Henley. Alright, oh, okay. Got a couple of things to announce. But let's get to the club first. Here we go. And we've made it to the club. About to go ahead, get changed, got to finish my smoothie, lie in that roller like I discussed yesterday, update myself on yesterday's last night's happenings. And then two couple of announcements. Oh some Henley goings on. Couple of announcements. The Yeah Buddy tank tops will be going on sale. What I'm gonna do is announce they're going on sale and then we're going to take orders and then get them out to you after I'll let you know the time period. I'm thinking two weeks just to give everyone a chance to order them and then get them out to you guys and that means we can get them to you before Henley Royal Regatta. And then the other thing is a few people have been suggesting podcasts. What do you think of that? Should I do a podcast? Would that take away from Erg Thoughts on the YouTube videos? Would I just put the Erg Thoughts from the YouTube videos on the podcast? Would it be new thoughts? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Okay, let's get changed. Let's get rolling on the water next session. First session, let's do it. And we're in the crew room for breakfast. Yeah, buddy, what you got today, Kieran? Uh, some floppy bread, scrambled egg and porridge, can't finish it. Yeah. How was it roll? Epic, as always. You were behind me, so how could I go? You're watching that. What are you eating? Are you going to finish your porridge? Yeah, you can video it now and then video it after. Bets that Tiernan finishes porridge? Probably not. But of course, we've got eggs and beans and brown sauce for today's breakfast. Alright, gonna eat this and then head to the next session, which is a half hour on the ergo, not on the bike. So that's exciting. First time since surgery that I get to do a longer piece on the ergo. Flat out. Oh boy. Let's get to it. And now it is time for the half hour on the ergo. Hopefully I don't throw up. Got the boys next to us all. Hopefully I get a fan and I don't overheat and I don't just fall off the erg. This is the first time I've been doing a longer piece since the surgery, like I've said. So pretty exciting. Yeah, buddy! Okay, and welcome back to Erg Thoughts with Cam Buckin. And this time it's actually on the rowing machine, or the Erg, as some may say. The grey machine, the grey skull, or the black skull, whatever type of Erg you have. But here we go. We're off for the rate 20, 30 minute half hour. A lovely few big strokes there. So I thought today's Erg Thoughts would just be on the rate 20, 30 minute piece and how I sort of approach it. Let me know in the comments below how you approach your test pieces if you do the rate 20, 30 or if you do anything similar. So as you saw there off the start, I'm yamming on it for a couple of strokes just to make sure the split, obviously the fans are now still. So getting the split down nice and easy and then settling into rhythm tuning in my boy right there with his boxing glove just sitting in a rhythm now and that's really what is really helpful with a rate 20 30 minute piece is all about that rhythm you want to sit in a rhythm that you can just just yam on it for 30 minutes straight and how i like to approach it is i go for i like to split it up into six minute chunks one because it's really easy to do. And two, because when you set the erg up for 30 minutes, it'll automatically split it up into six minute splits, which means five, six minute pieces within the 30 minutes. And as you can see, we are now, we've now escalated quite quickly on to the later part of the 30 minute. Turned in, screwing up his face, and he's pulling hard, or he is yamming on it. I'm also, giving it some big licks as well. I think we are roughly in the last 10 minutes or, or something like that. Feeling good, a little bit of a smirk. 
So how I approach it, I'm now in my head, split it up into manageable chunks, six minute chunks. So I'll take the first six minutes I, in a comfortable pace. So I'll just sit at that pace that I know I can do for half an hour, that I'm almost guaranteed to do for half an hour. And this just comes with experience. And so you're sitting on the air, okay, I can do this for half an hour reasonably easily. Not, it's, it's, it's quite a bit quicker than UT2, but we're approaching sort of, so it's, I would say in between what the score you want and your UT2 and that. I mean, this is this is all what I do. So take it with a little bit of pinch of salt. You can approach however you want to approach. Some people flat pace. I, at this point in time, do not. I negative split quite dramatically, especially as you come to the end of the piece. So I'm sitting to start with. I let the split just drift up to, I think it was 44.4 was the slowest I saw on the average. And then I walked it down to the finish, which you will see at the end of this erg. As it starts getting harder, the sweat starts flying, it's getting really hot, the fan isn't quite putting enough air on you, and you're sitting in the last 10 minutes, and you're thinking, how am I going to get there? But before we get to the last 10 minutes, we have to get through the first 20. And so how I do that, so your first six minutes, reasonably easy. Second six minutes, you want to sort of feel it out. For me, today it was, uh, okay, I've done that first six minutes a bit harder than that reasonably easy. So I'm going to sit probably just on that pace. I think I dropped it by 0.3 or something uh, on this one rather than one or two splits. So I start, so instead of seeing 44s, 45s, I just sat on 44s. And then I'm just yamming on it some more. And then you get under 20 minutes and then you're thinking, okay, maybe I'll just get to 18 minutes. And you're at 18 minutes, that means there's three more 60s to go. And as you can see, we're, we're really cranking on it now, really giving it some yam as we're coming into the last probably six minutes now anyway. So we're approaching 18 minutes. Sweet. Okay. I've got three sixes left. I just have to get to 12 minutes. You've already done that first 12 at a reasonably easy level. Well, in inverted commas, reasonably easy level in my, in my sort of approach. And then you take another split off or depending on how you're feeling, maybe it's two, maybe it's half a split. And you just keep knocking that average down. And then what I like to do sometimes, if I'm feeling up to it, I count how many strokes it takes me to knock off 0.1 off the average. And some sweat in the camera there. Oh, absolutely beautiful. Tightening those shoes, ready for the last put of the air gear. But I, I try, try and count how many strokes it takes me to drop off 0.1 off the average. And then once I see that happen, I try and beat that. So say it's 35 strokes for 0.1, I then get, go, okay, Let's go 30 strokes, maybe 33 strokes, and let's try and knock off 0.1 before we get to there, get to 35. And so that works if I'm if I'm feeling mentally fresh. But other times, especially, so now we're, we're approaching 12 minutes, and that's when it's time to, to step on, big time. And so when I go into 10 minutes, so 12 minutes, you're like, okay, let's take another split, let's take another two splits. But when you get to 10 minutes, for me, that's when counting really helps. I really start to count in 10s. So it's just 10 strokes because really, it is for your t last 10 minutes, that's 200 strokes. And so doing 10 strokes is a reasonably big chunk of the 200s. You only need 20 tens. That is quick maths. So you need 20 tens. So if you're counting one 10, you've got 19, count another 18, and so on and so forth. And you can really sort of yam on it for 10 strokes. And that's pretty much how I do my half hour. I get to 10 minutes and start just 10. 10 oh, I can't make another 10, do another 10, why not? No, I can't, I can't. Okay, let's do another 10. And as you can see, so the expressions are changing as we're going, going harder, giving a little shout of encouragement to tune in and the, and the air next to me. Yeah, it's going, we're just going, essentially just trying to bring the split down lower and lower and lower, or at least that's how I do my half hours. We're, we're starting to get 44s, 45s, maybe seeing some 46s, and then we wind it down, wind it down, and then in the last minute anyway, I'll be seeing, I think we will see it in this next split. And also, yeah, I'm off the erg. That was me finishing it off. Let's go, let's go, boys. All right, let's see what the split we did as we bring it back round, walk back to the erg. Here we go, showing you guys the splits 
and you'll see that last sort of 10 strokes or so. So that's 131 at 21. And it says 430 ended up at a 42.9 since the split was pretty low at the end. Okay, nice dark screen. Let's see you when I'm recovered from this ergo. And we've made it into the crew room once more on a great day. Lasagna for dinner, lunch. I think I might go for two. Great half hour. You saw the splits. Getting back. We're on that gain train. Yeah, buddy. How are you feeling, Patrick? Really good. Really good. Really good pieces. Yeah. And Patrick's feeling great. Oh, yeah. So I've got a tour to do this afternoon, and then we'll see what happens after that. Let's get to it. And that is the tour finished for today. I actually really enjoyed doing the tours. Just get, just describing the history of Leander Club to some people who want to just know about it. And then they get to go out in the water and get to row on the ergs as well. So that's pretty exciting. Usually it's just businesses from all over the world and people that are from all over the world that just want to know some rowing stuff. Then they get to go racing stuff. So that's really exciting. But now it is time for some core and perhaps some maintenance of the gain train tracks. Yeah, buddy. Really good result in the half hour. I was quite happy with it, more than I anticipated. All right, let's get to weights. So this is what goes on during the corporate day as well. They get to race on the air. Look at this. Sauce going down on a corporate day. Now it's time to get some serious game train going. So Fraser is lifting about 180 kilos, and then here comes Tiernan. But I'm, I'm chilling, bro. <laughs> he's warm. chill. he's warming up on 60. Classic Tiernan, can't finish his porridge. What? <laughs> <laughs> Don't even say it. Don't even say it. <laughs> and so, another example of how hard Tiernan is working. Fraser's weights. Tiernan's weights. Big man. What do you have to say for yourself, Tiernan? That it's all a lie. That it's all a big lie. <laughs> Cameron loves to lie. Right in my face! Okay, and that is the weights finished for today. Just a short weights little clip there. Hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully you enjoyed the footage from the half hour of Tiernan and I yamming on it. That was quite enjoyable. As enjoyable as half hours could be. That is pretty much the season's average for me on my half hour this year just because it's, we didn't do too many and I was out for quite a bit of the season. But that means I'm on track. At least I'm pretty much as fit as I was already now by the time I stopped training in February. So the gain train is picking up some serious momentum. I just want to keep that going for as long as possible before I start hitting those smaller gains. It's kind of up in this trajectory right now. Uh, hopefully I can just keep it going for as long as possible. Like I said at the start of the video, the start of the vlog today, talked about the tank tops for sale over a, a certain period of time, taking some orders, probably starting this weekend, and then I'll put a time limit on it. Let me know if that's something you'll be interested in the comments below. There'll be just first limited run, pink tank top, white yeah buddy across the front. I think That'll be the first run and we'll see how things go from there and we'll start introducing other things. But that'll be in time for Henley. Oh yeah, yeah buddy. And on top of that, let me know in the comments below what you think of me doing a podcast. Because I don't want to interfere with doing a podcast separately and then a YouTube video and then not doing Eric Thoughts on the videos. Maybe I take the Eric Thoughts audio and put it onto a podcast. Who knows? Let me know what you think in the comments below. But that is it for the rest of the vlog for today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Remember, subscribe if you haven't already, hit that like button, have a good one.